All right, so we made it to Bradenton and I'm standing next to the slowest car on the property right now. So, all right, so I just got it unloaded and um, warmed it up a little bit. So I'm gonna go uh, get the uh, tech card or whatever I have to do to sign in and uh, yeah, we'll get in the lanes and try it. Alrighty, let's check this time slip out. Um, so with that really bad bog, we went, our 60 foot was 1.9. Okay, maybe I'm, hopefully I'm not too close here. Uh, 1.9, 60 foot. Uh, the eighth mile was 8.41, which I expected like 8, 8.20 or whatever. That's pretty much in line with what I expected. And uh, the I went all the way to the uh, quarter mile at 13.0, at 1.06. So, yeah. That wasn't very good, but hey, we got through all the gears and uh, it bogged so bad in the beginning. I got to leave like around 45 to 5,000 RPMs. I left around 3,500 just because of what, you know, like yesterday when I was practicing on the street, uh, it was just spinning horribly. But here it's, you know, it's hooking pretty good. So anyway, uh, we'll get back in the lanes, try it again. I can make a bunch of passes because um, this car never gets really hot. You know, I mean, the temps right now are at like 180 or not even 178 or whatever. And uh, I mean, I've driven this car for over an hour and it never gets over like 180. So yeah, let's get back in the lanes, try it again. So let's go through the second time slip. Uh, so we went, we went faster. It went 8:29 in the eighth, and we broke into the 12-second range in the quarter. 
Uh, the 60 foot was about a tenth better, a little less than a tenth better, uh, an 821, 182160 compared to a 19. And that translated to a much better ET. But I don't know if you can tell from the video or not, but it still bogs horribly. And I left around 5,000 RPMs. I'm pretty much gonna have to just mat this thing and leave it 6,000. It's just, it will not, it's hooking and then just dragging the motor all the way down and then it has to catch itself. I mean, if I could just get it to not bog, this thing would definitely go in the sevens, I believe, so. Hey Siri, C4 automatic transmission near me. One option I found is tires plus on State Road 70E. Do you want that one? Cool, tell them I'll be there in 10 minutes. All right, so here's uh, run number three. Uh, pretty much the same exact run as the last one. I tried to, uh, let's, let's look at it, 185, 60 foot. Uh, 185 60 foot and then um, 830 in the eighth 1296 in the quarter same mile an hour too so I tried to let the clutch out a little easier so that it wouldn't bog but it's still kind of bogged uh, I don't know what I'm, I'm gonna be able to do about that it's I'm probably gonna have to just floor it and see what happens and um, it's really not working trying to leave at a certain rpm it's just it's just not working if I, I wish I had a two-step in here that I could, you know, keep it matted, uh, and that would help it not bog. But anyway, um, yeah, third pass. So the next one, we'll probably just uh, try to keep raising the RPMs, see what happens. Um, like I said, that was around 5,000 RPMs, and I kind of let the clutch out easy uh, just to try to keep it from bogging. And the good thing is I'm not missing gears. Uh, I'm kind of granny shifting third, uh, but, you know, if third gear is really not good in this car it's starting to feel really notchy uh the sinker is almost gone so i'm having to really slam it and just to make sure to get it in gear but oh well i'm having fun and uh yeah we'll get back in lanes try it again
All right, let's go through the time slip. Uh, this was the best one yet. <clears throat> so the, I pretty much on that pass, I just floored it. Uh, right, right when the uh, last bulb came out, I just put it to the floor. And uh, it's still bogged just a little bit. Uh, I, I think that has to do with the gear. Uh, we're running a 373 gear in this. And honestly, for like drag racing, I could have, you know, like a lot of people run like 455 gears, you know, 410, whatever. But it's just not like even on the gear changes, it's dragging the motor down. So that's not enough gear. Uh, but that being said, it went 811 in the eighth. And I went ahead and I lifted because something didn't sound right. It sounded like it was uh, laying over a little bit, like it was, you know, I don't know. But uh, so I lifted. I don't think there was anything wrong with it. That was probably just me thinking there was something wrong. But and the best 60 foot too, 172, uh, 811 in the eighth at 84 miles an hour. Uh, let's see. The previous one was same mile an hour, 84. Uh, but this was a 829. So obviously the better 60 foot gave us a, a better eighth mile. So yeah, I think that uh, that's probably all I'm going to get out of this. Uh, and it's funny, because I've been doing this so long that even yesterday uh, when I was making the other video, my guess was an 810. I said I'd be very happy with an 810 and it went 811. So I could just tell the way it felt that that's probably where I would be. Uh, I could keep going and maybe get, get it down a little bit, uh, but it's just there, there's so much, so many things working against me that it, I don't really see the need to keep beating it up. So uh, four passes is good. I'll probably hang it up there and uh, take it home. But uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun and uh, every single pass got a little faster. Uh, but for a street car to run, you know, it's it's running in the quarter. That pass probably would have been a mid 12 in the quarter because the uh, previous pass was a let's see 13 oh so it went this one here yeah it went 1296 with the uh 1960 foot so it would have been probably 1270 in the in the quarter on that last pass if i would have stayed in it so i mean 1270s with a junkyard gt 40p headed 306 not bad i mean and this car's full weight you know, like, like I said yesterday, it's full weight, uh, power steering. I'm gonna have the air conditioning on this soon. Um, all the, you know, the heater cores in this thing and all the AC controls, stereo, speakers, pretty much everything. The only thing missing is the back seat. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the car loaded up and uh, we'll wrap the video up in a minute. All right, that's gonna do it for the track day. Uh, I'm glad I came, it was a lot of fun. And uh, it's been so, so long since I've, driven a stick shift on a track uh, honestly it may, gives me a lot of appreciation for the guys who who do that who stick shift race uh, you know it's not easy and there's so many variables and all that it's I, I have a lot of respect for those guys uh, and I, there's no doubt in my mind that someone who knows what they're doing and can drive better than me uh, would be able to get this car into the sevens in the eighth no problem I really truly believe that because I just there's so many things I'm doing wrong I'm not I'm you know I'm not shifting it right and not leaving properly and all that so yeah I know that you know a guy that knows what he's doing could could do a lot better but anyway that's gonna do it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it and um, check you all later